Jack White Rabbit has left its writing on the wall. Certain events had led to all of you surrounding a king. As you all had decided to disperse out, wandering about from job to job, you all had taken a select few, but all the leading towards one course. Tracking down a killer and tracking down children. You managed to do both reluctantly. Even one of you found the child reluctantly and managed to get them back home without them dying, but without answers, without clues, and without, uh, Murdering an elf, you all had brought them back into Section 9, which is your current home base. Where Ramon, your boss, had established the key into the lock and closed the system down. Allowing them no access outside, but allowing you access to peer through the veil. In ready and waiting to begin your interrogation. However... Iman managed to subdue them with a spell, allowing you access to their mind, so long as you not harm them, and so long as it does not harm them. So what will you do now? Will you manage to kill them, seeing as they are an elf? Will you manage to hear them out? Or will you actually manage to ask some decent questions? Uh, for one example, that strange glowing arm. You know that we could just point in that. For some reason, because we're cool. <laughs> all right. As you're all beginning, I believe I'm an ass. Or stated, go ahead and answer the questions. As Archer removed the mask, Mixie said, "Who are you working for?" And the person responds simply as, "Depends on what you mean by that. The one that employed me, or the one that hired them out." Both. Both. I do not know the one that hired them out, but I was instructed by... Let me look at my notes. I was instructed by the Red King to deal with this matter. Red King? Pardon? By dealing you killing, or...? Killing is one way, yes. I had intended to take them away, but as your group had decided to intervene, mass murder was the only alternative. But I was in the slums, so I had to be cautious. Otherwise, Shadowfoot would be behind me. Right. Where do I know the... I put my thing about Shadowfoot. Where do I know them from? You know that they are the reason why two of the laws exist underneath these slums. One, don't mess with pregnant women. And two, don't mess with children. They are the protectors of this area. If anyone messes with those two specific rules, they die. There is no known case that they do not. Why would Shadowfoot be with you if you were intended to kill Kid? He would not, which is why I was trying not to do so. At least not in the slums. The oh, you still obviously failed. Yes. Trying to use the child that managed to be left behind, I tried to bring the other two back. Trying to reach my true objective. But, the unfortunately, he decided to make new friends. Yes, the one from... Noche and the one from the Great Forest. Hmm. The one was a drow, and one from Noche. I think, I think it was just those two, to be honest, because the main reason why that noble, that noble boy we said didn't have his friends is because of the situation, the conflict between the drow, drows and. And you made new friends. Uh, basically, what the person has intended, or at least their intent was they were to extract new information or get the other two if possible back into the slums without too much worry or issue they were targeting specifically the return of the drow child and the fox being from noche uh, that is another safeguard city another city safeguarded is from the great tree where the drow and elves are from but mm -hmm. In respect of value, as the elves are from the surface and the drow are from the underground or the underdark. Right. Uh, just for clarification, who does the Red King? Where does the Red King work? Uh, I don't really know. He went missing and left his daughter in charge of his gang and stuff, I believe. More or less. Uh, from what you know, she. Uh, the Red King went on a mission and has yet to return, so the de facto leader 
or the representative leader is the child. Yeah. Yeah, I know she would. And she like, this is at a, at a leader. The question is, like, what the hell is the Red King thinking? You because, like, from how... Why would the Red King want two noble children that... Divide and conquer. They will blame each other, and they will start fighting each other, probably. They, if they, they are trying to start them work together, but if kids suddenly go missing, they will blame each other, and that will stop ha from happening. This and one. the you know, and the elf. Why did we stop? Why did I stop you? This <sighs> one speaks the truth. This and the secondary Crazy. part of the plan were the key factors in all that to establish a Bruh. distrust within before the attack commenced. Um, attack? excuse me? Okay, who is going to attack where, if you know this in The attack will take place once I arrive or once I am no longer able to arrive. The time set is one hour from now. If I do not where? make contact... Where? Or if I do not bring my representative, I will be classified as missing, and the attack will commence regardless. Who is your contact? The contact I have been instructed to meet is from... And then you feel a strange sensation as if, if she spoke the name, it would cause her harm. So she does not. Okay. Can you write it down? Uh, she writes something down, but is unable to give it to you as it is... Uh, etched within the metal in her bars. I think we would have given her a piece of paper. I mean, yes, that you might can, be but I was just idea, giving yeah. you a hint right now. Piece of paper. Okay, fine. I you give her a piece of paper and a pencil? Piece Stick of, of charcoal. Yeah, piece of charcoal. Charcoal. Yeah, that's pretty much what we, they use back then. Yeah. Alright. She writes something down, and you see that the words immediately jumble around. Uh, do you have the ability known as Papa? I think c Cipher? It's a. Ah, darn it. I took the wrong feet. No. <laughs> uh, it's a feat, yeah. I just forgot the name of the actual feat. A, a linguist, I believe. Yes. Uh, uh, yes, linguist. I believe so. Linguists have the ability to cipher code. Oh, but right nice. now, it's like all the. So all the. I believe that all these numbers are drumrolled up. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take a little time. You can continue uh, questioning her, but you would be able to figure it out after a few more questions. Yeah, it's like most likely like, I have this preset of war of letters, so maybe we could figure out by ourselves. What kind of attack is this? An assassination? A terror? Would how would we be able to recognize your contact, and where would, are you supposed to meet? <laughs> I am supposed to meet them in the back alley behind them. Once that takes place, they are to unleash a mass attack within the city. Hmm. So, and if you don't show up, they still will do it, right? Yes, but the possibility of the factions coming together will be greater. <laughs> How How is there are more groups involved. The, in build size, is Amon compared to? Uh, build size, height, you are. Build well if you took her cloak, her helmet, her gloves, it would be the exact same built for you. Her clothing's her clothing and cloak were built to make her bulkier and more of a masculine uh, garb. Okay. <sighs> do Do you think we could sneak ourselves through and just try to your come? It would be a possibility. Is there, yes. Is Is there a um, a safe phrase that you need to find you meet each other. So is this the part of the plan where we stack up two little people together to make one? <laughs> or just, or you just set me in and try to... Yeah, but it's funny. <sighs> How big is this attack gonna be? How many people are we talking? In total, it'll be one person, multiplied by many. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. Most likely that has to do with magic, and if we deal with the main person, no. then the other. No. It is not by magic, but through design. Yeah. Who is this person? The person that will be attacking is known as Ravenger. 
Do I know that name or? It is a possible name you know. Uh, Slab, you might know it. Amon, you would have advantage on a history check. Me and history checks. The one of the few things I'm crap at. <laughs> history. Nope. I nope. don't think Nesman would know it because he's not really that kind of person. I'm uh, just saying that Nesman's not even around for this conversation. He's not much for interrogation. And let's see, I got I rolled a unnatural twenty. Dirty. Hmm. Darn it. I really wanted Amen to get it. But eh, so that works as well. <laughs> uh <laughs> Yeah, sorry that I, I I rolled this a a three and a and a five. That's fine. Uh <laughs> oh Slab. Den identifying the name, you do yeah. get a strange sensation. You remember hearing the name of a warrior able to smash through the ranks, through the filings when you were in the military. You realize that this was a... Um, well, you were considered a medic. He was considered cannon fodder. And then he continued to be cannon fodder. In some of the fights, you heard the name over and over again as if people were running away from them. However, this person stated that it'd be more than one. You know that this person is quite dangerous, and you do know that they aren't magical. Rather, they're more feral, similar to a barbarian. But at the same time, they are very deadly, without a weapon or with. Right, I'll describe that to just to make sure. Oh, hmm. uh, you rolled a 20. You also know they went missing about five months ago. Interesting. Do you know what race they are? Uh, uh, maybe if you rolled a natural 20. Yeah, oh. and so like, I, like, yeah, it's like, Slav was a backline. He, he wouldn't, he's not there all the time. He just hears rumors. And out of all things, I think race is the last thing people will talk about. Uh, would an evacuation be in order? It would now in an hour. Or we can try to talk talk them out of the. Please give me her equipment. I believe. What what is? Nesmin what has is the coat. Uh, you have the gloves, and Archer has the helmet. Yep. And what was the phrase word? Of the safe, the safe sentence of war. The phrase word has been implanted within my mind and stored there until we meet. Gets oh, so it's like a thing you don't know. Oh, I see. Once they delve into my mind, they delve into your mind. Well, then that shenanigans is not gonna work. No, definitely not. Too bad. Uh, I mean, we could try and ambush them again. Yeah, we could set an, an is, ambush. Is there, is there a way that you can identify your your contact? As you cannot say their name, apparently. Yes, my contact would be wearing certain garments that you could identify them through. It wouldn't be that uh, difficult, and their appearance themselves has been known to me. Uh, can you please describe this. Very well. Are you ready to listen to it? I'm. I'm always. <sighs> Fucking elves. <laughs> uh, she then states, "It'll be a woman with." golden armors around her with white filigree about. She will have a plain face but at the same time she will have roots growing out from the armor itself in a hood a pale complexion. Okay. Uh, she begins to draw this out as she describes it because she didn't take the paper away from her. 
Yeah. She will look like this. Does it help? <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so we know how, who to kill. Yay. Okay. So. What what would you anticipate that would happen if something would come over her? Would, would they call off the attack? or? No. Likely not. We are supposed to make contact, yes. But if she does not return, I do not know the protocol for it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we are respectfully uh, kept in the dark as to not make a possible breach within the system. Okay. Archer. Did I, I please have the helmet? I have a cup. I hope you guys can trust me on this. He nods. Okay, what's the plan? And then uh, tries to sign to you. Then you get a weird puzzled look on your face. And he just says, uh, I want it back after. You and your mask fetish. <sighs> sure, I'll, I'll give it to, to you. Because... I, if for this to work, I need to get close. Nods and hands you the mask. Uh, and who, who had? Yeah. The gauntlets. Probably... I have the gauntlets. Okay. Who had the cloak? I believe Nesmin or Mixi. Probably make. Which cloak? The cloak that they they wore. I didn't take. I believe that, but I would have taken. So, either, either way, here's the key. Uh, I'll go. I'll go into the little boy's room. Get my dress self. Uh, myself dress. Um, uh, it's gonna be hilarious to see your character fit into female clothing. Uh, I. I, I took some additional toilet paper, filled up the stuffed up the the front part. I just said it was <laughs> designed to look more masculine, but okay. okay. Sure. Just in case. Fine. Now just now we get to talk about how what's what's this elf's cup size? <laughs> Around it B, maybe a C. Eh, not too bad. A C plus or a C minus? Um, it's important to have you. Minus. <laughs> uh, I should not be asked. <laughs> uh, but regardless, you are able to distinguish yourself as this person. Okay, so. A Avon gets back into the room and tries to in Im imitate the voice that he had previously used. Because she did sound like a dude when we are. You believe it's just the mask. Uh, as you speak, everyone else does hear the appropriate voice. So, shall we probably will need the plan B. Uh, sh everything. No, somebody should inform the drow and the elves that shit is going. Oh yeah, definitely. We are. We should definitely like send them a message. Archer, you you like doing messaging, right? He nods, and then states, "It's only about thirty feet away." Thumbs up. Well, that's very close by. 30 feet. I think so. Oops, my bad. It, it's already 25 feet to the door. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just uh, a door? Wait. I'm turn to... Go ahead. What? I'm just wondering what you mean by uh, message. Uh, message. 
Oh, I was going to turn to Ramon and ask if there's any way we could get back up on this. Yes, I can bring in a few reinforcements. You can take some of the lot here as well. If you'd like, I can bring in the red uh, guards. The red, red guards? Uh, well, yes. Not... From the Red Cross. Nothing. Oh, I see. The Red Cross. Don't they only have medics? <laughs> Wrong Red right. Cross. Right. I forgot you weren't here for that. Uh, the Red Cross are the guards in town that uh, patrol. Basically, they're one of the police forces. They're not the only one, but they are the main ones that patrol the city. Okay. I wanted to change the name, but yeah. everyone else told me to keep it. Wait, did she say specifically where the attack was happening? Like, what part of town it was? Citywide. Oh, shit. Is that happening near the school as well? Citywide. It's the school in the city. The school is in the middle of the city, uh, kept guarded and protected as it is and houses many people that are capable of magic, including especially humans. Uh, that are beginning to show actual prospects in magic, and that is a secure place. Even if you don't go or do, it's up to you, it will likely be safe. Again, likely. Likely. Mm. Would it not be wise to uh, issue or at least tell the gods about the upcoming attack so that? We can reduce the amount of casualties yeah. that might be cool. Yeah, we should probably spread the word. Right, to I'll get on to that take people. So there's the guards, there's the drow, the elf, etc. Maybe the, most like the queen as well, because she will. Well, need you to know about the different. Okay, so the thing. Yeah, Eamon is gonna take off the helmet before he starts creeping himself out with his voice, apparently. So, the thing we probably wanted to do is to communicate that this attack is coming and try at least to confuddle the enemy in such a way that we can either stall it or stop it from happening. By either informing them that she failed, or, or yeah, that's probably the only way to ma to make sure it doesn't happen. At least at this point, in yeah, it's like there's no real option. The tag is gonna have it no matter. Probably, but if we can't stop it, it would be better. It would be better if we at least try and keep it into a confined space. If it's just one person. Yeah, but if if that one is many, then many are one. It's confusing, Mumble Jumbo. Uh, why am I only? Why... I informed. Intellect. I informed the R and D leader, and he'd be making widespread calls, especially towards the school, and as well as the guards in town. Claire right. is currently working with everyone else as well, trying to make her own calls. Mm. Okay. Would it not be wise to get that sniper with us as well, Red Eye? I think it's, it's probably best just to have their entire group with us as well. Since they are, I mean, are under our employ, even though this is quite a hefty job. If we have Red Eye camp out, if we fail, she might be able to take over. Yeah. What could ever go wrong? Oh, I could think of multiple things to be honest. But oh well. <sighs> hmm. So, so what is the plan, guy? So you always ever think about something we don't know about yet. We have informed the most, uh, as many people that we possibly need to inform. 
our best option to, is to confront this person and see what the hell we can do and wing it from there. Yeah. As you say that, Claire then states, It looks like one of our agents has found the identity of this person. They are currently waiting at the quick. destination that the one you currently house mentioned before. We don't have a name for them, but from we know that they are able to systematically dismantle any type of escape route or system. They are themselves a trapper, but we do not know their actual name. Interesting. Well then, well then I guess there's we have I guess we might as well go in and commence the plan unless anyone wants to issue anyone to want to add something. I I sense we are walking straight into an ambush. I it's mean, fun. it'll be an ambush walking straight into an ambush. Yeah. So, so, so as long as everybody understands that this is probably a trap, and we all understand that this is the case. Actually, can we please talk about this somewhere away? Yes. As you say that, uh, Ramon then activates the full set of containment protocols, and the trap itself then overlaps uh, the what's it called? Enemy. Okay, can we still see the enemy? No. As oh. everyone else notes, once the trap is fully set, nothing inside can be heard, uh, felt, sensed, or the like. It is a near uh, impregnable trap slash I... cage. I... As long as we all understand that this is, this is a trap going over a trap, so I will be trapped the moment we... <laughs> Okay. I I don't mind this because what could ever go wrong, right? Maybe I can talk my ass out of it. Never know. But we shall see. And if something goes wrong, please have. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. Maybe we could suggest them to surrender like the lab. <sighs> and and ruin the fight entirely. Give them the old stop, stop. <sighs> sure. <sighs> Is it the first time I did an ambo? Might be the last. Uh, uh, Eamon, I... will, Eamon will pull out his bandor and, and ask, Can one of you hold this? Because I think it's gonna sit quite gotta be quite obvious that it's not her if I'm carrying this around. What is it? A bandor. What's a bandor? Like, uh... Do you know what it is? Yes, I'm looking up a picture for you so you can see what it is. is it? That's a bandor. It's a, it, it's a big ass guitar. Why didn't you say that before? That, because it's a bandor. That's the correct term. Or not. Yes, but most people know it as a bandolier, for some reason. What? A bandolier? Yeah, that's a natural name that I am in. Uh... I, I I I have a completely different what that I hear what what that I think about when I hear. Band I've heard both. As you begin to make your own plan, right. Claire then goes, All right, good luck, you two. And you, small one. Make sure you come back alive. Which one, which one is she talking to about? about? Uh, you There's three of us. I've been Leonidas and I've been's cat. Head out. Uh, oh, really? We have four small people in this group, for God's All the What's Nesman doing? Oh. That is a good question. 
he's in the corner just like, at the table. Nesman is drinking. T I'm I'm dipping it. <laughs> right. I'm gonna turn around and walk over to the. Mixie? Yeah, sorry. Uh, okay, <laughs> there was just an awkward silence. Yeah, Mike was acting. Uh, just sort of lean over his shoulder a little bit, like looking to see if there's anything he's tinkering with or shit like that. The usual Nesmin and stuff. Surprisingly, not this time. He's just sat there mindlessly stirring the tea, which has probably been stirred way too much at this point. Is it like a nervous stirring, a sad stirring? Uh, neither. It's like he's just completely zoned out. I'm gonna wave my hand in front of his face. Take the spoon out and tap it against Mixie's nose. <laughs> Is that not hot? Most likely, it probably hurts a bit. It's probably. It's probably warm because he has been stirring it for a while. Uh, did you hear anything that we were saying? Or have you been zoned out for a while? Yeah, bits and pieces. Nothing no I was really paying attention to. I'll relay the information for him. Alright. All right. From what you gathered, the team has asked a few questions here and there. What's going on? Who are they working for? Uh, but they forgot to select a few other questions, but currently they are adamant as roughly a little time remains. A uh, basic rundown is the Red King for some reason had targeted the children, but your team doesn't exactly know which child other than it wasn't the Elvic Elf. Uh, kid? Annoyance? Whatever you consider them. You did level up to level 4 last time. Okay. Yay. I mean, I also level you guys oh, up in social interactions, but you guys just leveled up last week. Or yeah. at least you should have. Yeah, I did. I took the alert feed. Okay. So I just didn't know if I did my hit points on. Yep. Yeah, I. You took the alert, I took observe. You can do yeah, the standard, yeah, I, or you can roll for your health points. Up to you. Did, did I up my HP? The next mm -hmm. bit of information was the Red King was hired out through some other person, but your team doesn't really know who, or at least the enemy doesn't know who. However, you've neglected to ask if anyone else is also working in this case and the like. Uh... The third thing was, who are you meeting, how is this working down, and you are to meet the contact in the back alley behind the market area. There is a key phrase, but someone needs to be able to dive into a mind and find it as it is locked within their mind, unreachable until someone is able to do so. And then you guys uh, were a little cautious and contained her fully inside the cage. When that transpired, Ramon and Claire sent out and spoke with the head of the R&D department, where he is now making contact with some of the night orders, as well as the police force that you work under, allowing them 
in advance to work with one another so long as they do so and no one is under the payroll of someone else. That aside, Ramon had also instructed Claire to speak with the school, allowing their security to make sure that everyone else is safe. Is there anything that uh, you think you could do magic-wise to help us? I'm not quite sure what you're capable of. Uh, you asked the wrong person. I have no idea myself. Magic hocus pocus. Precisely. <laughs> I'm doing a little jazz hands. <laughs> or DM. <laughs> I would like to say also, Fixie was doing like a backwards and forwards hand motion, like, ooh. <laughs> um, no fucking idea how much it works. You guys can roll Arcana? Maybe you can have a bright idea? What? what? Sorry. Oh, that's surprising. <laughs> There's many you can also roll. Yeah, I just need to get to a touchpad, which I hate. <laughs> Welcome <Wow. to> <laughs> Kidding. Really kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Entering into with magic has a few restraints, but also a few benefits. Entering in and delving into the mind can also mean just sending a message or perhaps uh, using the spell message it's likely possible up to you depending if any of you have it another possibility I is do. <laughs> another possibility is allowing uh Iman to control the person in which you currently are still bringing them along and having them work things out the magic alone would be enough to bypass any restrictions and I mean, even after the conversation and all of that, would have enough control that nothing would look too suspicious, but at the same time, uh, having full access to any enemy guard. <laughs> uh, the third thing is, you can question the person out, seeing if there's uh, anyone they know that could perhaps help you out. Yeah, but by the way, Doug, just so you know, the spell I cast is a concentration spell. So if I ever get hit and I fill my con, we suddenly have two enemies to fight instead of. Yes. Keep that in mind. But what I was saying there was you can bring the enemy there, have them speak, have someone speak with them from a distance, uh, channeling, channeling through you what to say and what to speak and asking them questions and trying to persuade them to get the city not under attack <sighs> but the main one because you rolled a natural 20 is message would work sending would work um maybe lesser restoration Because that would allow the spell to be wiped out at the exact same time, allowing the word to be known. And because it wasn't through Iman, you would know how to delve in afterwards and have them answer what the word is then. I... But again, message would work. Yeah. <sighs> so it makes the... What? What? What are you two cooking up back there? I mean, there's been stalled the natural toy. <sighs> yeah. Y you need to go the natural to natural toy he still right? doesn't have much clue to go on. There's not much that he can personally do. Can't wanna... Isn't it possible for one of you to... Influence the uh, overload 
and possibly make them take stop the attack. I I am not letting letting her out of that cage. If if something would happen to me, you would have two enemies to fight instead of and because that spell takes a lot of energy out of me. I'm to keep going. Can technically charm person, but not his style. It's not a style, but it's something probably consider. Yeah, but you can consider it, but he won't ever do it. Okay. I I uh, I, I should dig into her mind maybe to fi to find it as she says she claims it to be locked away. Maybe is this is this cage portable? Deep I look at Ramon. Once it's fully active, it is heavy. Ramon goes a uh, a bit, but you would need to have a great strength to move it. Looks at all the other employees. Uh, how, how, are they all noodle arms? Like, no, many of them are quite strong. Uh, what he means by that is, team effort would be easy enough to move it. You would just need to have uh, a total of twenty between everyone with a strength check or athletics. Actually, really, uh, and a com combination of twenty would work. But at the same time, you are yeah. pulling a cage all the way there. Yeah. <sighs> so it's possible to move mm. it. That's not an issue. The problem is moving a cage deeper. through town. I think it's yeah. best you keep her here. Okay. Okay. That's probably better. I she, she, like we we were lucky enough to get her in here in that cage. Yeah. <sighs> so much. Uh, <sighs> Ramon, could you please drop the veil on on the top of the? I I want to try something. Maybe I'll, I'll cast message. Tell me what it is. You cast message, diving into the mind, allowing you access to a black veil entering in and developing within. You believe this is the bridge and gap. However. Your message is able to pierce through as it itself. It's a kind of delayed message within. You're not sure how they did this, but you do know that it is the spell message and the message inside is the key phrase. You're able to crack through it and the key phrase you hear from dusk till dawn. From dusk till dawn. And who was the person that you could not name before? Next message. I mean, at this point, Slap could have deciphered the word if he actually did so. Yeah, Slap's not doing anything special. So... Okay. Uh, at the same time, Slap finally gets the message across. Uh... Okay. Uh, I'm in Slab. You both read or here uh, within your own mind uh, the word known as oh that's interesting <laughs> oh that's it for us okay no no no, no. Uh, the word I chose <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know the word as escudo uh, escudo so she So what? Hey, shield, escudo. That will, that's shield in Spanish. No, that's dark hey, in Spanish. It, it's escudo. It's what? Escudo. It's not with the Q. No, you're thinking. Oh wait, a dark, a dogma. That's all escudo. Oscuro. With an O. That's right. My bad. Oscuro. Oscar. Hey, at, at least it's not as bad as, uh, as having a gr grim smile as your character name. <laughs> Don't make me fill your bag with gunpowder. Why, why are you saying that? Because <sighs> I have a, a lot of gunpowder. 
Yeah, that that was your previous character. We're not talking about. Not really. Uh, but so, yes, that's the word you hear, and from what the dialect and tone, you believe this person. Uh, you're not from here, Iman, so you would know the some dialects. This person is likely from Noche. Okay. And what if you were from there, this? you would have some more information, but you're not. No, I'm not. I, I do. You, you still need to tell me where I'm from. The Great Tree. <laughs> ah, uh, I'm from. Oh, yeah. You're from uh, a from... village near the Great uh, Forest. Yay. Yeah, I, rem I, I remember now, yes. Can you help you? <laughs> no. Because one plus one equals two. Yeah, basically. Anytime the Great Forest, uh, the Great Tree, the Elven Council is brought up, you can ask, uh, what do I know about this? And I'll just give you the information. Because you would know it. However, um, knowing this name doesn't give you much, but you do know the name of the contact. You now know the key phrase from, t from dusk till dawn. So you know how to... Well, you know that the mask works as a filter, allowing you to speak the way they would speak. The only thing is, if they have some sort of x-ray vision or the like, allowing them to pierce the veil of the mask. Yeah, they're perverts then. They're perverts! If they go through the mask, they're gonna go for everything. <laughs> yeah, they are straight looking at them, C minus studies. Why did I just say? I don't know. Maybe you because did, you're a C minus student. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but the likely of, likelihood of that is near impossible, as barely anyone knows magic. And even then, what's the possibility of them having that spell? Uh, so, Remember, Slap, whatever you do, do not play my Bandor. Okay? Immediately strums them. Take 3d6 psychic damage. In the rules of, uh, of, about, of that. Jesus. It is heavy, also. It is. Why did you give me the goblin? Because I do not trust the person with the mask and makes he just toddled off. So it's not like Mixie's that far away. <laughs> Anyways, it's fine. Unless you have a strength of five, you can carry it. I have a strength of eight. <laughs> Then you're fine. I you know it's a strength of. No, actually, no, it's a strength of six. Uh, oh. I, I lied. It, it's not three d six. It's two d two d four. But yeah, I'm just gonna pass this down to Arthur instead because I have st a strict six and strength, and this is heavy. I can. I, you I'm can carry just it. Say... Whatever. <sighs> Just, just, just make sure you're around because I need that thing to cast my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ramon goes. I'm sure we'll be there somewhere. You have about thirty minutes before you need to meet them. If there's anything you need to do now, I suggest you do it. If there's someone you'd like <sighs> to take with you in here or uh, within the police task force, I can perhaps arrange someone to meet you there. Probably but... Red. Hey, Earl. I was going to be just thinking in general, the B team group oh. that we have. Oh, is that what you call them? Uh, sure. Yeah, that, yeah, we're the A team and they're the B team, see? As you say that, uh, B team then lines up and their main guy, a uh, guy you've met a couple times and the rest of the team's met twice uh, line up and he states 
Alright, just for that, I am not giving you the money we made. Um, yeah. Congratulations, ah. you dick. I what? signed him feels bad. Right then, then, I'm just gonna steal your cake when you're not looking. Okay, you already paid us, that's good, good luck getting it back. And Eamon walks out the door, puts on... RIP. Archer signs, wait, we get paid for this? <laughs> <laughs> I That's think right. so, I don't know. Not this mission. Do we get paid? As always, even though we're saving. Why am I never here when I get paid, Archer? <laughs> you, you were here last session when we got 50 gold, then. Archer finds them so fucking. I'm <laughs> funny. Sports. That's a. Uh, Nesmin, Archer, and Mixie, what are you two, uh, slash three doing? Well, did we not get paid for, for this, this mission? Th this, this is saving the town. This isn't a mission more as a requirement to live. So you're not, we're not getting paid because the boss is a cheap. Well, no, there's no real employer, technically speaking. It's our job to protect the city. Rip off. <laughs> Makes you look physically pained at the thought of not getting paid for some. Archer yeah. looks visibly sad that he's once again not getting. <laughs> for all this hard work he's doing. Money hungry. Yep. Uh, yep. I was gonna s surprise you, but as all of you look physically pained, ah, poor Claire. She's the one that was gonna inform you. But, whatever. Uh, Claire moves forwards and goes uh, towards Ramon. I managed to make this a main mission event. Through the clerical paperwork I managed to do while people were talking, I managed to make sure anyone or anything allowing and able to safeguard the town will get a payment, but based on the merit of their work. I was going to make this a secret, but based on... a Based off of everyone's faces, I'd rather them be motivated. <gasps> really? Did somebody say money? Amon <laughs> is already out of the door. He did not hear this. Oh, Slab <laughs> always hears about money. Trust me about that. <laughs> yes, yeah, same with Vixie. Yeah, he's like, he's like a Jewish. He hears a dime always and always goes... Yeah. But by the way, you're at the moment holding my magical uh, bandolier, apparently. Please don't play. I play. Uh, you take two d four psychic damage. You take uh five damage. <laughs> you take five points of psychic damage. Unresist your hat hurt. <laughs> oh no! You need to make a wisdom saving throw. Yes, that's true. Get my. I get my. my... You take. Yeah, damage. you failed that. You but, is it un but is it unresist? Are you resistant to psychic damage? He <laughs> still stinks a little bit. Get wrecked. Of course. Ramon then states, "Right, looks like this is a main mission event. Try to survive. Make sure everything survives as well. I'll try to see if I can't boost up the monetary value of each thing you do. But in the meantime, mm -hmm. the more you do, the more you'll likely get paid." So, go off and save the town as much as possible. Okay. <laughs> Makes you jumps up and <laughs> arms up in the air going, We're gonna go save town and bolts! Money, yeah. money, money! Money, money, money! The moment Eamon gets out of the door, he will put on the helmet and and try to sneak away. What does it with me and my rolls again? Yeah! Uh, do now you, I do you remember have a why I made it decent. 13? Yes, I'm past the light, 16. Uh, makes you 12, no, tell... sorry. No, <laughs> 12, not 16, that's another mm. character. <laughs> I, have, I have a passive of like... Oh, please 15. don't tell me my bar has I have a passive of 15. <laughs> uh, I, 
I probably have the highest passive perception. My bard has a higher passive perception than my fucking rogue does. <laughs> that is sad, uh, Nesmin, you see I'm in trying to zigzag patterns, trying to go behind barrels of trash and the like, but you can clearly see him. <sighs> right. All right. So now I was gonna stealth ignoring it. <laughs> Why are you stealthing? Fucking thing. We should be stealthing when we get to the point. Maybe oh, because I, because I'm wearing the armor of public enemy number two. That is true. They were wonderful. Just... I'm pretty sure everyone's looking at those gauntlets, not as goddamn armor. Me and Slav got the exact same. <laughs> yeah. Both for seven plus. Why not? Okay, so now you can't. You can. We're now in a disguise. We are now two short, little people combined together. No one shall ever. The thing uh. is, Mixy won't be against that. No, the question is, though, who's the top, who's the bottom? Yes, Slab should be the top. No, I think... will be looking. It will be too busy looking at. Yeah, I was about to say, with my strength score being kind of higher than yours, I think I should be on bottom. Damn it! <laughs> yes, yeah, sl sl no, Zaya has to. Sorry, uh, Mixy has to. It means best bitch, though. <laughs> <laughs> a, I'm slightly disappointed because that means I cannot go crotch pistol. You have uh, not heard of a simple thing called a power bottom. Power bottom. Uh, no. Okay. Demonetize. Demonetize. Okay. <laughs> were, we earning, were we earning money in the first place? Nope. No. no. <laughs> the dog one doesn't have enough subscribers, I don't think, yet. Uh, we'll we'll get you like there, four. but... Three of them for you guys. I... Listen, don't don't assume I'm surprised. If you want D content, and the second video has like five views. The first one has seventeen though. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, that's because I watched it five times. Okay. <laughs> where the where the comments are? Wow, these guys. It's more like wow, the bad. audio sucks. Oh, that's you. <laughs> yeah, you, by the way, you just got the fifth one. I forgot to subscribe. Hooray. <sighs> so who am I today? Am I the left or the right? Or... You can just uh, hover both, both of them and you move them both. Okay. So I have got to try and sneak towards the, cre the person that I should be talking to. Have you, Archer? Why are you targeting me? Don't worry about that. I'm totally not doing anything secret or like making you make an intelligence saving. Yeah. I, I told you to, to, to not do something and. That was out of character. You know, I, I don't look to authority. I looked at Nesmin on. <laughs> with me and. Going into disguise, going, do you want to join us? We can become a tall person. And all Mixie will hear in her head is, and you call me the child. <laughs> Big grin on her face. Okay, so we're gonna walk up towards the person that we should be meeting. Well, I... hello there. <laughs> Greetings. Have you been well? Has the sky been treating you properly? <sighs> it has been treating me properly from dusk. All I heard was from dusk. She immediately attacks you and you die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I said I'm from dusk it... till dawn. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, uh, I did say from dusk till dawn. I know, then. I know. I did know. I just get out of it? But it just cut on on me, so I thought it'd be funnier that way. Anyways. And uh, she attacks you and you die. I mean, you okay. say from this to yeah. dawn, and she then immediately changes her tone. Her mood, her very form itself. You see that she is still straight up. But from the moment you said that, her face, demeanor, and attitude all change. Very well. Did you manage to take care of the hit? 
we have a bigger problem. Hmm, I see. That would be... It, it seems when I pull, pulled them from each other that they... For some reason, they crept more towards each other. I, Whatever we would have tried, if I would have... It would only have they made made things. It's like they they knew somebody was trying to tear them from each other. That would be near impossible. Are you near sure? Near impossible, about this? but apparently, as they sent out their combined troops to find the person that was trying to kidnap their children, yes. Hmm. It's like they started working together to find the person who did this instead of blaming each other, which is very strange. It's not are you certain there are Yeah, but it happened. Hmm. Then perhaps the Blue King got involved. We managed to scare S somebody white and black. And thanks to the help of Yellow, we've been managing to make our move. But if Blue gets involved, this may pose a problem. Perhaps it's Information network had connected us somehow. Very well. We might need to postpone this then. Do you think it's safe enough or at least relevant enough to attack the town though? I as their troops are still looking for me because I I have been found out to be the one apparently doing this before I took I it it would be problematic if we would continue with the plan. Hmm. I don't believe that's the case. The main reason why we chose you is you were high profiled and that we would implant certain key phrases, words and papers under someone that would take the blame for this and systematically choosing you as a would-be assailant or perhaps a assassin that was hired from one of them no, i i am referring their guards are out if he comes out i don't think he will succeed i highly it's... doubt that we managed to get the blueprint from the red and with that we were able to manifest a multitude of simulacrums through Ravenger. I highly doubt that they would manage to get control of the original. <sighs> if you want, I can go there and make sure he is safe. Hmm. This would be a potential problem, but go ahead and roll persuasion. I'm I'm supposed to be good at persuasion. Yeah, I'm 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 supposed to be good at persuasion, yeah, but I cannot the, roll higher than a. That's what you get for speaking to the gods. <laughs> that one just kind of sneaks back there. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. No, this could pose a threat. This isn't part of your main mission. You were merely supposed to be a witness, a whereabout, and a scapegoat, a red herring allowing people to wander about. And not attract our true objective. You were step one. Ravenger was step two. And the shadows are step three. Shadows? Yes. But that is no concern to you as it is not your work. Of course. At so any rate. How do, if this how is do the case, we continue from here? I will have to speak with the higher ups. I can have you join me if you'd like to. Of course. Perhaps persuade them to think otherwise. If what you're saying is true and the Blue King has gotten involved, then this could pose a problem. Okay. I, I'm gonna make an inside roll to see if she is acting. Not actually just trying to pull me into an actual app. But now I can roll high, of course. Yay! Well, well, from what you can tell, she is concerned, but more on the fact that you failed your mission. And the fact that 
a possibility of the Blue King entering into this, whatever this is. You don't really know, but from what you can tell, Yellow and Red have been working together. To what end, you're not sure. Furthermore, uh, you do believe that she is concerned about what you're saying, so she'd rather have you tell her boss the fading lose news rather than her and her paying the consequence. So if you're into the gig, yo, I don't want to die today, so you're going to have to do me off solar. Okay, sure. Let's get going then. Very well then. If you weren't able to complete the mission, then I'm afraid you might pay a hefty price. <sighs> I, I did not fail f by my own agreement. I failed because you guys have more. That is highly unlikely. We have made contact yet... within the structures. The knights. The R&D. If we have a mole within our own ranks. Then they will quickly be snuffed out. Yes. But they have succeeded this. It, at least now we know that there is. At least you guys now know that there is. Hmm. So let's get going then before things go snap. Very well. Uh, as you and her begin to maneuver throughout the street, I want everyone else to go ahead and make wisdom saving throws. At disadvantage. Uh, ooh. ooh. I am told that I am okay. Oh <laughs> lord, he's coming. Oh. I accidentally was. Hey, I'm not the worst. Doesn't mean that we, me and Mixie believe we are the same. <laughs> we truly have fused. Hmm. You two feel and like now uh, people will consider you an adult so you can finally get into R-rated movies? <gasps> yes! <laughs> Concern. That is the night. That's, that, you know, that's what we're going to do after this mission. With the, after this mission, with the extra gold, we're heading out to the movies to watch an r an <laughs> yeah, I, I already have a name for the two of you combined. Slick. Oh god, no. <laughs> okay. 15, 14, 5, 4. Don't forget to say that. It's a disadvantage. So... Even if it was regular, I got a 5. Nesmin would be oh. the only one able to pass. Got that. Alright. <laughs> Copy and pasting to new map. As you yeah. walk through the streets, wandering about, something feels strange for the rest of you. It's as if the streets are melding, merging, turning as one, and you quickly try to wave that off. You feel as if you're taking an acid trip. Whatever Odie got you guys to drink seems to be taking a hit on you now. But that is a different universe and not our own. However... Nesmin is able to structure himself solidly, and you do see that these two people that you're tailing seem to be going to a house as they made one quick sharp turn as the rest of the team lost sight of them, losing sight of you as well. However, you don't know what's inside. You don't know if you'll survive. But one thing is certain. You are in the enemy's lair, in the enemy's den, with no backup. Do you continue and help out, or do you go back and try to get the team to follow, if possible at all? I will attempt to get the team to follow me. Okay. Nesmin, wandering back. Go ahead and make another wisdom saving throw to try to mem 
memorize the patterns. Disadvantage or normal? This one would be... You've passed it once, so it would be normal. Nice! Oh, so good. Ah, which is a bummer. For me. Anyways. As always. Returning back, you are able to bring back the team. However, before your team gets there... Um, unfortunately... The only one there is alone, at least for two turns. So whatever he's going to do, he can't screw up. So try not to screw up. Entering into a oh. highway, you see only one house within this road. It is... Secluded and isolated somehow, but when you turn back, you see no road, no distinct area, just this house and nothing more. Turning back, the person goes, well, after you. Hello? Is he FK? He might be. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, he okay. is. He's muted. Okay. Uh, uh, That's Short break. Um, Nesmond. You return back, but without the two people yeah, currently there. However, you did manage to mesmerize the pattern. They went into a secluded area, into an alleyway, but as they entered into an alleyway, you do note that there is a strange phantasmal area there, as if a illusionary... Uh, what is it called again? Terrain is there. Melding in and blending in with the rest of the streets. You take note of it and rush back to the rest of the team. Okay. Oh, Raven's back. Sorry, nature called. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's fine. At any rate, Nesman, you managed to return back to the rest of the group. I will. Attempt at best to guide them to the area. If I have to, I will daisy chain their hands together. <laughs> like oh. taking children on a school trip. What are you talking about? Mixie's clearly an adult now. She so towers over like you. She will never be an adult. <laughs> I am totally. I'm so. Did. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Quiet, you, you short. I'm glad it's sure people are comparing height right now. Mixie, you're on the bottom, so you're still only an inch taller. Actually, you no, know she's that in the top. That is a fucking what? inch still. Actually, no, I mean... It, oh, yeah, that's why yeah, she's the power on top. <laughs> yeah, she's the power ball. Oh yeah, she's the power ball. She, 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 she has some thick thighs. Nesman, you, <laughs> you managed to drag the rest of your team there. Um, it looks like a child is bringing forth two adult people into a back alley. Uh, maybe like parents? <laughs> your father, for some reason, is wearing a mask and your mother's wearing a large trench coat? While you yourself have a mustache? <laughs> this is a weird family. <laughs> mm, yeah, sure. Yeah, family going to other way, yeah. Rex, what is with you and bearded children? <laughs> I'm giving as many awkward waves to people as I can. <laughs> people begin to walk away, except for... Oh, only three made it. Except for three of the B team you brought with you. Makes you fucking giggling underneath. Oh good, the coat's crush is, is laughing. I am just going to... Backhand the, the lower half of the coat. And in Mixie's head, 
All she will hear is quiet you. I like to start <laughs> talk. And me. And the face. <laughs> no proof it was me. A slab can guarantee that yes, it was intended. In his head, she's just like, did you just backhand me? Uh, the air is filled with whistling. Let's <laughs> lead them to the illusionary terrain. I'm gonna try and kick it <laughs> with my limited size. <laughs> so you two fall over. <laughs> yeah, and, and rem remember that Dogma said I should not fight. It's okay, I, they're I'm not there not yet. Sure <laughs> they're not they're not there yet. I'm, I was just going to say, he, t he reminds me not to fuck up, and then you guys. Yeah, Everything was still there. heading towards you, so, you know, we're making progress. Uh, yeah, I, I think that just added a turn to my two turns. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, Nesmin, you backhand, maybe slab, maybe Mixie, you're not sure, but you feel like you got the right one. Mixie begins to try to kick you, but Slab falls on his face, causing a avalanche throw. But you quickly pick yourselves up and begin to walk in the distance. Archer and the rest are just looking at you awkwardly. <laughs> we are tall. We are mighty. <laughs> we are tall and mighty. Still shorter than me. But... I like how Slab and Mixie starts forming this stupid alliance with one another. <laughs> in the meantime... As he is alone now, for at least two turns, Iman looks towards the person and then goes, All right, looks like we're here. After you. Of course. And he will walk in. Uh, he I just need to bring in. my face with me. You don't knock. I'll knock, sure. As you knock, you then get flung underneath the, uh, what is it called again? Doormat. Door? I, what? I got flung by the door? You don't get flung, uh, uh, the doormat quickly underneath you flings open, and you fall in. Immediately after, oh. the person next to you falls in as well. However, moments later... You simply press up, you press back up into the house with nary a injury or the like. Okay. Standing before you seems to be a strange man uh, with a dark complexion and tattoos around their arms, red hair and a red hat with white filigree. And standing before them is a woman with gypsy garb, red bandana, and uh, gold filigree all about. Gold jewelry. Hey. Simply looking towards you, she then states, Alright, as you both are here, I assume the mission was a success? What a failure. Hmm. I do not it seems like failure. somebody tipped them off. Neither do I. Even more when it's out of my con. As I think if I had succeeded, it would have become worse. I, st I stopped my, my actions because it would, be, would backfire on the entire idea of what we were going to do. Go ahead and roll deception. <sighs> Man, if this uh, is, if there are no advantage, what 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 is it with me and rolling fifteens? I'll show I, you her I roll because I want you to look at her modifier. Yeah, if it was persuasion, I would I could have. Clearly you're not telling me the whole truth. You want to try that again? Or do you want to die here now? Of course. 
I'm not, uh, you're right. I'm not telling the whole. Neither am I telling a whole lie because they knew. But I stopped because they 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 put up more guards and I was unable to reach those. They were better protected than anticipated because they knew something was up. Hmm. I could have proceeded and probably get myself killed, but I'm here to make money, not to die. That is unfortunate. We had hired and made sure to turn a few guards to allow them to f accidentally miss the children back in the slums. Whatever happened or whoever intervened, Clearly allow them to wander about, not be restricted once more. How unfortunate. Do you yeah. know the whereabouts of the interlopers of our mission? I believe one, at least a few of the interlopers followed me. So I... I am guessing they are outside. Hmm. I brought at least those to you so you can have your enjoyment. Then this could pose a little interesting test before the mass. <laughs> hmm. You feel that she was about to say something else, but you feel as if. The first lie caused her to take pause in any more information being distributed. She then looks to her Darn. right and goes, Ravenger 238, go and bring 10 more. I will wait here and make sure you surround the area. The person next to her then looks towards her, nods, and steps towards the bed. Whereupon the bed's counter, they press it on, they press down, and a doorway enters, shows itself in front of them. As they step in, they simply walk into the shadows and disappear. Is that all, or is there no new information? It seems that no matter who informed them about our plans probably has, has a higher gain to get from this than we anticipate so I think delaying our plan and finding out what ha who is intervening is a bigger problem at this time than continuing f go ahead and roll persuasion come on don't be shit Jinx, that you fucked yourself. Come on, 50, damn it. You see, it could have been so much better, you fool. Hey, it, it's, it's the highest thing I've rolled so far. It's a, uh, sorry, it's a, it's a 13. Okay. Everyone else, go ahead and roll perception. Because I assume you would be cautious. They even have somebody with the alert. So if shit goes down, they know. I mean, as soon or right before it goes down, yes. In the meantime, though, uh, 22. Hmm, that could possibly <coughs> pull a threat. In the meantime, however, Eskiro then says, It is possible that the Blue King has gotten themselves involved. As the White and Black King have gone missing... Putting in air quotes, they likely want to find out what's going on, as they are the informant. Yes, that is likely true, says the gypsy woman. Go and find out for yourself. Hide within the shadows of the slums. If we need to attack the masses, make sure that the Blue King doesn't get involved. I'd rather not have any information leaks one way or the other. She then looks towards the gypsy woman and then states, Very well. Is there anything else I can do? No. You have done enough. 
The Yellow King appreciates your work. She then vanishes behind your shadow, quite literally stepping in your shadow, merging with it, and disappearing. So, my lady, what is the next part? The next part is simply watching and engaging Ravenger's abilities. They have been decreased, unfortunately, as he is controlling all of these copies. But all of these copies do have numbers against them. So, unfortunately, you have failed. But fortunately enough, I am in a giving mood. So I'll let you enjoy this slaughter before I present to you a punishment. Of course, my lady. In the meantime, the rest of your team begins to huddle up in a daisy chain, all heading towards this building that Nesbin found. <laughs> Mixie, immediately you sense danger heading towards the door. Not the door itself, but around the building, and then the door itself. Uh, I'll show back low. Uh, Slab, you almost immediately fall from Mixie's shoulders. Sorry, instinct. I'll try and catch him. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Oh, that's it. You've been doing this for about ten minutes, so you've become accustomed to Slab's weight. <laughs> <laughs> a five pound. I'm sorry. Did you call me fat? Could you? <laughs> <laughs> if, if you were fat, then she would not be able to carry you. You. Yeah, yeah but she has some stick knives. <laughs> Just please tell me I'm not stronger than the two of you combined. You might be. <laughs> Going you can't up... beat my deck, sir. So. <laughs> Going about, B team goes. Well, the head of B team goes. So, do you want us to blend into the shadows? You could just rush in there and call police. That's true, but I am about to do that. So, by all means, you all do it. We're we, here as backup, guys... so we'll back you up. But we aren't doing anything crazy. Should we just run? The rest what of do you guys think? Here, Slab, go. Should we just rush them? Up to you. Nixie, there's a Uh. I mean, we can't. We might as well got catch them off guard. Like, easily, I will jump through the window and you two go through the door. Archer's eyes. Let's make sure to stay back. Uh, sure. Okay. Right then. Should we roll an initiative for Sure. Roll initiative, everyone. As someone who uses a bow, I'm good at it. Amen, roll initiative as well. <laughs> wow, you guys suck. <laughs> Holy shit, that was bad. Those are bad rolls. Even for you, Mixie. <laughs> I know. For, for being my bottom. <laughs> my For being my bottom. My... You are slow. Slap. <laughs> You're up first. Yeah. See, how far away is it from, it's from the window? Oh, that's far away. Do I... Can I... What is actually the ashes of the gold? I can't remember. Because for some reason, the wiki page for stop it. Questionable? It's actually no, it's changed. 
for some reason. Maybe we double check. Yeah, the wiki kind of gotten, uh, got me. Yeah, well, what the fuck happened? The coast? Just because? Yeah, bro. <gasps> they deleted my goblin page. Oh, no. Yeah, oh. don't you know wizards don't like goblins? Yeah. Okay, we're racist. Racist. Crap. Is it though? Yes. I believe goblins have the ability to bonus, bonus have I'm not certain. What do you think about my cast? I cannot remember. I think so? Uh, why not? Okay. Let's just bonus action dash to. I got you, bro. You're talking about your nimble escape, right? I'm sorry? You're talking about nimble escape? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Your high is a bonus action, bro. Oh, it's a high bonus action. Never mind. Let me go back then. Couple of yeah, dude. Little gobble, bro. You can take the disengage or hide action as a bonus. It's an escape, bro. Yeah. Oh, he. See if I have a clear shot at this bit. Through the window, you do yeah. see a strange person. Uh, it's foggy, but you do see a person there. Just like the police, just shoot and ask questions later. Damn, bro. That's the sound of the police. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. Immediately, whoop, whoop. you hear shot fire through the window. And then... Nothing happens. <laughs> Shit. A tra trap. You literally hear the sound of the window shatter, but you see the window still there. You see the bullet not there, but you swear you heard it. It's weird. Okay, that's an. Is that it? Yep, that's it. I only have. Archer. Uh, Archer notices that the little gobbo bro decided to, you know, bro out into that tree. And... So this, so this dude's gonna, gonna, gonna start running up to the door, dude. Right here. Though. I'm gonna take out my my short. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah, my eyes are red right now. Is my bonus act. I hold my action to um. I see someone, I'll attack them. Alright. <laughs> Nesbin. Uh, hang on, I just need to see what my touchpad is. <laughs> no, simply move down to there and just wait for everyone though. Okay. I'm gonna say you hold your action then. If that's what you're doing. Uh, sure. I'll, I'll simply be holding it too. I'll, I'll hold a healing spell in case someone gets injured. Alright. Mixy. A simple level one. Can I see them through the wind? Through the window, you do see two figures inside. You're not sure who's who, but you do see them. Uh, oof. I'm just gonna put on my gloves and... Uh, I could open the door. Could open the door. Do it. As my legs, you should do it. Um, are we still <laughs> legs? 
We're, we're, we're already separated, Zelly. Uh, oh. yeah. Slap, uh, jumped off and took the trench coat with him. He was in the divorce, uh, bro. I'm gonna yeah, kick that, her from the door. Did, did Slap use half movement because he dismounted? <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't dying. I'm kicking. Okay. So you're kicking it open? Yeah. Okay. Archer, Mixie, and... Eamon, go ahead and roll dexterity saving throws. Wait, so I can see my enemy now, right, bro? You can. Alright, dude, the my, the my held action. <laughs> 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 Alright, right, bro, let's get some bro, bro activity. That, that's already followed by that one. <laughs> Your held action kicked right. yeah. in before your deck. <laughs> but you still need to roll it. I need to make a constant. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 I have lucky. Yeah, Shit, you're lucky. You, you have, yeah. You're a halfling. You get the. <laughs> ah, infinitely better than that one. Fuck. Hmm. She passes. Well, she takes half damage and do bare like six damage. She takes no damage. <gasps> Damn, bro. Immediately, you see her, and then you feel something is about to happen. But you jettison out a flame heading straight towards her. It seeps in, and it seeps in. Nothing happens. However, looking at you, you then see that the door swings open as Mixie kicks it up front. Immediately, the trap that was taking place hits and vibrates your surrounding area as a strange tripwire underneath the <laughs> door gets triggered, automatically jettisoning various pikes around you up to people 10 feet from the door, which is why... <laughs> Eamon got hit. Shakes fist in anger. You each oh. take 3d6 plus 5. However, no, none of you saved except for Eamon. Uh, Eamon, you managed to dodge the entire attack. Thank you. Does this count as an attack, bro? It's considered a trap. Ah, oh, damn, so it's not an attack? If you can I, avoid I, a trap, you don't get hit with anything, so yeah. Dang, bro. Uh, you both Rip. take 16. <laughs> I, was, I was so close to cheesing out of this, dude. <laughs> All I need, 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 need to do is confirm it was an attack. Because I held my action healing words on Mixie. Archer, why are you so low? Bro, like... I don't know how to tell you, dude. I forgot to level up my character's HP. <laughs> Good job. Oh man, I based this off of everyone being leveled already. Listen, bro. Math's not my forte. Alright. Earl, Jesus. Makes it, you still have to Earl, nothing's your, your forte. <laughs> uh. Did kicking him from the door count as an action? No. It's considered okay, a free action because anyone can open the door. She's right in front of me, so I'm just gonna shoot her. So. Alright. Wait, you have a gun? <laughs> Fuck. You see, the reason you failed is because you don't have a gun. You shoot, <laughs> at, <laughs> you shoot at an arrow straight towards her as you are face to face. It intertwines within the area, and then she simply steps to the side and it hits the back of the bed. And then she si simply steps back. This did not go how I expect. Amen. Well, this Amen, is, uh, before that. Amen, you hear a commotion uh -huh. coming from the back of the area. Surrounding you, you then see Slab from the window. The woman then goes, oh, 
Looks like they're already trying to make the move. Immediately, you see a gun fire straight through the window. It hits the window from your side, but immediately a strange vibration hits the wall and nothing happens. However, you do see the woman's hands go straight up as if she's activating something, but you're not sure what it was. You can simply ask, uh, what was that? And she just gives you the answer because she still believes you're in the same side. On. What, what was that mean? <sighs> it's a nullification. I placed it well upon this bordered wall. The only place it doesn't have it is the door, but I do have a trap there set in place. As she says that, Mixie then kicks the door open, causing various spikes to go straight through her and Archer. You I'm quickly step to the side. A... What? You quickly step I'm to the side. I... Sorry. Go ahead. I have a plus five to uh I have a plus five to initiative. Because of a love. Oh yeah. You should add that to your character. It was bad, bro. <laughs> You, you would just be slightly above Nasman, and that's it, so it would not change. Quickly stepping to the side, Eamon, you're able not to take any attack, but you see Nasman behind you, quickly trying to heal Mixie while Archer's uh, not looking too good. It is now your turn. Okay. I, I am gonna run towards the door. Take both of my tokens, and I am I'm gonna use I, I'm gonna make it look like I'm trying to defend her, but I'm gonna send Archer a message. Give me my fucking bandwagon, you fool! And then he is gonna try to feint an attack on Miss uh, on Mixie by trying to punch her, but obviously, at least for her, not for the woman, crazy woman behind me that thinks I'm her ally. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Bro, what the fuck's a bandolier? You don't know what a bandolier is? No. That's my no. musical instrument. Oh shit, bro. No oh, shit. You're carrying it because nobody else wanted to carry Are it. Are you baked right now? Well, your listen, listen your dude. It's completely different <laughs> to any bandolier I know. I cannot confirm or deny my intoxication, so bro, calm down, alright, dude? Alright, it's alright, dude. Come on. <laughs> Have yeah. you been intaking the weed, or have you not been intaking the weed? My lawyer, my lawyer says no comment. Right? Uh, they, they, I called it a bandor. Everybody was confused. They told me it was a bandolier, so I accepted it. Right, I, because I, to me, a bandolier is a piece belt. of equipment to hold ammunition. Yeah, same for me. Yeah, same. That. So, so I have your. So I have all your ammo. <laughs> no, sort no, of. you have my my band. You have my Vulcan Bandor. It's the magical, the instrument that I pushed a while back while we were looking after Professor. Rook. To keep it simple, it's Archer, you have his guitar. Do you give it back? Y N. Why, bro? All right. Immediately, Amen, uh, you see that Archer feigns an attack towards you, throwing you the instrument. Okay, that's a bit too fast. I, I already used my accent to cast massive. I'm now apparently defending myself with an instrument in my arms. Ah! I am. What? What is this? I forgot foolery. Then, yeah, that will be my turn. Just so, somebody disarm me by throwing a musical instrument under my. In the hmm. meantime, the enemy now springs into action. It's surrounding you. You feel an intense gaze. Mixie was the first one to take note of this, but decided not to tell the rest of you about this danger. Apparently, Mixie has a plan. However, standing around you now lay ten oh, individuals. No. That... Similar oh, no. form and function. Oh shit, that's a lot that of good that guy. Did anyone equip, equip those gloves? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm 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 carrying them, yes. Alright. 
Do your thing. Um, to make it simple, I'm just gonna say each of them attack during one specific turn. And sure. you know me, I don't like to target people unless it makes sense. Listen, bro, like, just do what you gotta do, alright, dude? Man, what what is wrong with you, Earl? Have you been drinking with your drinking? No, bro. Oh, I'm not able to drink. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, yeah, you start America. Uh, ten people. Slab, it is your turn as you see two people literally side by side next to you. Disengage, disengage, disengage. Okay, and my action is going to uh, nope. Here's how the NPCs that work. You tell them to do something and they'll do it. The red-headed boy is a fighter, so he has weapons of melee. Uh, red eye is long range. Mm -hmm. You don't know what the boss can do, but the boss probably has a mixture of both. He has a nice mustache. That's... Yeah, the mustache is a weapon of mass destruction. Most likely the best situation right now is if for the ones who are frontliners is to keep these enemies away from mm -hmm. back, the back line. They go when you tell them to, but once all three get used up within a turn, uh, then no one can go until the next turn. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay. You disengage and then what? Uh, I attempted to shoot, but that was a nine. So, miss. Ah. Surrounding the area, you just graze the cheek of one of them. Archer. Archer with that bow, bro. He uses his bonus action to change to a green colored. And I'm gonna run up on this chick up here, right, dude? So, like, now that I'm in the building, dude, like, I, I can now use my super secret power. Which is, you know, st st So, I look like I'm gonna shoot a- I'm, I shoot my arrow and I make it look like it's going to go to the ground, but that's all a part of my, my gigantic ruse, bro. Because what I'm really doing is gonna- I'm gonna mess up her- So, like, dude, I'm gonna need you to make a, an intelligence saving throw. <laughs> okay, I did show you her modifier. No, that was wisdom, not intelligence. Oh, that's right. I don't remember seeing a modifier, bro. Oh, I'll show you. I hit her with a con save. That's plus eleven. Oh! It's plus it appears, it, bro. It appears I've won once again. <laughs> no, oh my God. Yep. I'm just gonna use her legendary action and automatically pass. She has a legendary action! Oh, no, no, she, no, 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 you mean legendary. Yes. Sorry. She still has two bro, that's, of those left. Bro, that's one out of three down, dude. So, like, I definitely did my job with it. Um, I get out of game, in game, that's two of three down. Oh, boy. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna move, like, right behind her, bro. And, like, I'm gonna look really confused, like, whoa, what's this dude doing, dude? Right, bro? Uh, that's all I'm... <laughs> okay. The enemy, then, yeah, the enemy then takes its turn. Rushing straight towards Slab. Nesbin. Mixie. Getting closer. Getting closer. Getting closer. Getting closer. Getting closer. Getting closer. And finally, getting closer. Do, do, do. Slab, does a 13 hit you? I didn't hear anything, so I assume no. Mixie, does... He said no. All right. I said no. Mixie, does a 16 hit you? Uh, I think my AC is exactly 60. Yeah. Ooh. Nesmin, does it? Yes, a... you don't have to study leather. Does it 14 hit you? 
<laughs> okay. Mixie, immediately standing, surrounding you are various copies of the same person. Based on the information you gathered, this is probably Ravenger. Strange name, but for some reason it fits. He then calls straight towards you with his hands. Immediately you see metallic tips as if they are claws, but not claws, as they are a wired sort. It rakes through uh, your hands and you try to block with them. And you get hit with 2d4 plus 6. Great. So, yeah. Let's roll low. You take 11 damage. I have 11 hull. Well, Mixie down. Oh, wait, no, I'm right. Right, so. Oh, I can get back to my spells. I am going to. Where's it gone? What have I done? Ah, oh, shit, I removed it. <laughs> I thought I had spiritual weapons. Okay, I am simply going to. Where's the... Alright, so, the two next to me... And that one there... I'm going to cast... Bane. Oh, I can cast at second level. Let's cast at second level. And essentially the two next to me and the two next to Mixie. If they fail, what happens? Uh, whenever They're if they one. fail, whenever they make a saving throw or attack roll, um, they must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from the total. It's a reverse blast. That's what I thought. Okay. It's, you're like really gonna chill their mellow, bro. Do any of them pass? Let's see. Uh, two of them pass. It needs to be a third one, though. a fourth roll, though. Because I cast that second level. Ah. Rep, three of them pass. The first one fails. Alright. Surrounding you stands a very strange, unorthodox person, but they seem to be quite dangerous as Mixie's currently coughing up blood. Are you going to take a movement action? Yeah, I'll use the bonus action to disengage. Actually, no. I don't need to disengage if I'm only moving there. That's true. Yeah, I'll just move forwards there. Mixie. Uh. Between them, uh, which ones? God damn it! Fucking Mixie, surrounding you with the area, you use your black gloves, surrounding a shadow enveloping your hand. You slice through the air and go ahead and roll damage. With sneak it. So, uh, uh, what's sneak attack? I think that fourth is 2d6. Yeah, bro, you get your third one every. Yep. Nice. Immediately, you rip through the first one surrounding you. Did that. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Sh uh, uh. I was gonna disengage as. All right. As you disengage, Amen.
You're still muted, by the way. Let, let's solve that problem. Uh, so I am I am gonna bonus action tumble. But with two tokens, it's start lagging as fuck. So I've gotta move to there. And I'm gonna use my action to cast Thunder. Oh, that's the wrong spot. I need to move one further. Thunderclap for two tons. Right. What I'm gonna do is get rid of the normal one and then just tell me when you want him back. Okay, sure. So I'm I'm casting Thunderclap on on these two because it's a five foot AoE. Okay, uh, one succeeds, the other one fails. One because my DC is fifty. On which two? These two. Nice. Everybody within five feet of. Surrounding you seems to be struck a cord of vibrant electricity. Hitting the two next to you, you feel that they're gravely injured, not down or definitely not out, but you feel like you did like. One eighth of their damage, uh, hit points. One eighth, so they have 16 HP. Yay! Uh, Thank my bad. My math was off. Uh, two tenths. So one fifth. Yes. Okay, and then I am gonna run two circles around them, and that's gonna be my. Okay, I am not good with fractions. Slap! Slap, uh, uh, you saw Mixie take him down quite easily, just barely putting any effort. Like, she does this every day. Man, she must be have a talent killing back people. Yes, I said that. Deal with it. I mean, that being said, I said you grades one of them with a AC of 9, so I'm pretty sure you can figure out what their AC is. Hits. It, uh, uh, oh wait, he, he is a humanoid, so that's an extra two damage because of my favorite. This one? And yeah. yeah. You shoot one, falls in the ground, in the fire, dies. That's the end of my turn. You assume the fire is the plus two. Sure. Archer. Did she not do anything to attack me? No. It's as if you're insignificant. Feels bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, dude. So, check it. This is what I'm going to do. Right? I'm going to use my bonus action to spend three, three side points to get all purple, dude. Like, I'm getting a flash. I'm getting some non flashbacks right now. You see it? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot her point blue without disadvantage, you know, because mm -hmm. reason. I'm going to see how this works out for me. Not well, but, you know, three side points still spent. Well, side points well spent, my friend. <laughs> that ground really doesn't look so good. You shoot the short bow right at her face, and then you realize that the short bow is modified, so you shoot on the ground to distract people, and you forgot to set it back properly, so it hits the ground. Oh shit, bro. Alright, I know exactly what to do. That's not insignificant, I'm just gonna go into her room. You're already in the room. So, see, like, see, I'm in the foyer room, bro, so like, I, what I gotta do is I gotta go to the secret room back here, dude, alright? So like, that, that's that's my master plan, and that's the inner Okay, instead of a looking towards the deck of cards within the desk, you decide to go into the storage closet. Oh wait, those are deck of cards in the desk? Dude, I actually, can I actually go to the deck of cards, bro? Yeah. I still got movement, so I'll, let me just use 10 feet of movement to get over the... I'll tell you what those are in your next turn. Alright, bro, thanks. Enemy turn. I like Enemy how turn. no one's using the NPCs. Listen, bro. It's, it's the greatest flex of all right now, dude. So, like, the, 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 we called them B team. They're offended, but now we're going to prove why they're B team. Slab, I swear, I thought Slab is trying to use them. Yeah, Slab gave them an order. 
you need to give one specifically, not the entire group. Ah. Oh. Uh, well, then I would like the fighter to like get in. There. Goes in. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Heading towards Mixie, heading towards Nesmin, heading towards... They still don't know you're not on the team. So, another Nesmin. Another Mixie. Disen no, it doesn't disengage because they still believe you're on the team. Do you do an attack? Nope. Fighter. Slap. Man, I'd literally attack... Or the stuff out of the bag of bricks. Doesn't hit Mixie, doesn't hit Mixie. Nesmin, does a 16 hit you? Yep. Okay, uh. What about a 14? Nope. Okay, and then lastly, a 12, so nope. A uh, slab. Duels A. Oh, 17 probably hits you, right? That's 17 against me. Okay. So Macy takes nothing. Nesmin takes one attack. And Slab takes one attack. Again, you oh, see barbed wire around their hand. Rake through your flesh. And that is 2d4 plus 6. Uh, that is not right. You put 44. Alright, Nesmin, you take 11. Slab, you take 10. Oof. Uh, Dogma, did you roll the minus 1d4 for, uh, for attacking? Yes, they got a natural 20, but I took the d4 into account and it went down. Basically, I went, hmm, negative four. I'll just make that a normal attack and then subtracted the four. And they still rolled a 17. Oh. Rips. Eh, it's fine. It's not like, because of that, they don't get to do double damage, at least. Yeah. Nesbin. I'm going to disengage. It's like technically stand in that grid yes you're back to back against the wall okay and then i am going to cure wounds on a mixie at level two it's 20, 20. <laughs> damn i'm back to full health that two was just successes <laughs> All right. Mixing. Um, okay, never mind. That's an action. Okay, that's my turn. Which one attack Ness? Uh, this one. All right. Hits. And then roll two. Three. Immediately, you take your shadow form from your glove, pierce through this thing, and bisect it, causing it to slop on the ground. You then see the body kind of turning into sludge slowly. Ew. Anything else? Uh. You still can command one of the guys. Yeah, is this has this guy moved? Nope. I'm gonna command him to move and start attacking. Immediately rushes forwards, takes the tap. Nope. Uh, he doesn't because of reasons. Aim straight towards these two. Dead. Dead. I fucking knew it. He was racist. Uh oh. Aiming towards and helping out the his teammates, he quickly swipes through one of the enemies and then turns around and swipes through another. You believe he has multiple attacks? 
he's stronger than us. You don't know what Three. you hit him with, but you feel like... No, Mixie, you have keen senses. So you feel as if he puts something in his sleeves. You don't know what it is, but you do know he yes. has a weapon there. Aim he it. has a weapon up his sleeve. Our game, aim in this, uh, is gonna now finally take the full use of the Bandor. He's gonna start playing it. it. It's gonna be a jolly tune, and he is gonna jump skip over to this one. And he's gonna hit him in the face with the Bandor. Okay. <laughs> you hit them with your weapon of musical instrument and just knock off their head as one of the wires literally slices through. <laughs> and then he is gonna move over to to over here and he's gonna make it look like he is going to attack him next. Okay. Because she can see this, so I'm gonna make it at least tr look like I'm actually trying. True. Uh, pretending to take a swipe, the person next to you simply nods, uh, invisible to the enemy friend. You're not really sure right now. The person. Frenemies. Uh, behind you. So they quickly dodge as if you took a swing at them. Slap. Disengage and sh and okay. Oops. That is eight damage. I imagine. So I, I think he, they have like ten HP, right? You've done two damage Some... before, so six. That's eight damage total. You see them near death store. Uh, I might as well use my special ability of fear of the. Where I just cause extra damage and it should be enough to just kill, straight up kill. I mean, if you do two more damage, it will. Yeah, but yeah, but this. Yeah, that's easy. It says what I did. It's your level, right? Uh, yeah. So it should be. You shoot him with a gun, go straight towards them, and kick him in the throat, causing them to die at your feet, but because they are the one with the turn order, I'm just going to mark them with the crossbones. Okay. Archer, sitting before you, you have a deck of cards. You're not sure what they are, but they you do know a fortune telling, so you do know that they are a tarot deck. However, some of the cards do have strange backings behind them. All right, bro. So, bro, listen, Mixie. Before we get mad, bro, like, listen to my plan. So, so, bro, as you know, I may or may not be intoxicated right now. So, this idea may or may not sound like a good idea to me. I'm right sorry. Now. Listen, shut up. I'm gonna collect all these cards right now. What kind of action with? <laughs> this is the deck of my yeah. Deck. Listen, bro. No, no, it's no, fine. No, no, Don't worry no. about it. But the de no, he specifically it was specified tarot cards. Deck of many things is diff a different set. Okay, for cool. Well, deck of many things, bro, do look like tarot cards, bro. Sometimes. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they all have images on them. But to be fair, somebody looked at all of them clearly, so. A lot of different things. Not, not clearly, bro. Some of them, I did see the backs of some. Mm hmm. Some of them are flipped over. All I know is there's aren't. cards in here that just destroy the world instantly. <laughs> Come on, bro. This is me, dude. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> we have a record drop kick. Archer, the destroyer of worlds. Archer may destroy another world, but like, listen, I'm just trying to add in my kill streak, bro. Er Earl, if you destroy this one, I'm gonna unfriend. It was bad, bro. Oh, but anyways, what kind of? Please, good action is to collect these cards, bro. It's a bonus action to collect all cards. All right, bonus, bonus action. I collect all the cards. Bro. All right, immediately you sweep all the cards into your hand. In the meantime, okay. you hear loud cries of pain coming from your team and half of them coming from the enemy. But dude, there's cards on here. So like, what I'm gonna do now, bro, is something like really weird, bro. So like, 
See, listen, she she would never expect this, dude. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run 15 feet over here, right, bro? Dive onto the bed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just gonna lay. I'm just gonna lay there in in, in a very sexual position. <laughs> okay. And, I, and I'm just gonna and I'm just gonna lay just lay down there with my head on my with my head on my hand. I don't have a rose right now, so like, anyways. So that's that's how I'm gonna lay. That's how I'm gonna spend my turn. I, I would like to use my action to shuffle. Like while I'm running over. You use your turn to what now? Shuffle the cards, bro. Okay, you wink at her, uh, roll down seductively, and begin to shuffle your deck. Yeah. Okay. Enemy turn, which is now only a select few of two. Because the actual enemy you're fighting saw you attack them, they're going to straight towards... Amen, and now they saw Mixie get healed, so they're gonna have to try to prevent that again. So Nesman gets hit. Uh, sixteen hit. Yep. Uh, Amen does. Oh, probably does. Uh, twenty-four. Mm. Yeah, my AC is 13, so yes. Did upgrade all of our armor soon. Speak for yourself, I, bro. Uh, um, unless this armor gives me an actual bonus to my AC. No. <laughs> oh. It does does some. It does do something, but you guys never identify the helmet, the gloves, or the coat. Or the belt. I, I don't have a pearl, I believe. Amen, you take 12. Nesman, you take 12. Oh, this hurts. Uh, nine. Oof. <laughs> Big oof. Oof. <laughs> Nesman. Your turn. Right. Um. I recommend not having case. them attack you. I can even heal myself. <laughs> How low are you? Darn. On a scale of 1 to 24? Uh, on a the 1? <laughs> yeah, heal yourself, you moron. Uh, yeah. Right, Wait, last bro, last why is your HP only 24, dude? We love. Oh, yeah. Because he does not know we leveled up. I've leveled up. Yeah, we're level four. Yeah, but... yeah. I've got the health for a level four. Yeah, car must bad. Be, your car must be shit. Um, that will be my, my turn. All right, Mixie, you saw Nesmin almost get stricken down. He healed himself for a bit, but he's still looking pretty bad. Wait, which one? This one. The no one, one adjacent. Oh, sorry about. Gonna get this stabby stab. Rip. Because he's engaged with another player, you do get a sneak attack, I believe. Yep. Uh, five, yeah, I'm within five feet. Yeah. Luckily enough, that is enough to take him down. Uh, Nesmin, as you heal yourself, you see Mixie get pissed off and just slash straight through the one that just attacked you. As his weapon goes down, her weapon rises. Until it, f until it falls to the ground in many pieces. I'm gonna give it an extra stomp just to make... As you stomp on it, it kind of goos out. Amen. Okay. Amen is gonna scoot over, back out of sight, because yay, and he's gonna bend our next one in the face. <laughs> Boing! <laughs> Again, your 
weapon of choice, which for some reason is a musical instrument, to the rest of your party is confused, strikes straight through. The wires cut straight through until they fall to the ground dead. Beast. And then he is just... Hmm, what are we gonna do for... No, that, that's gonna be it for this. I will say combat is over depending on what you guys want to do. But oh, the... okay. <laughs> Yeah, my health should be higher, you guys. I forgot to give myself a level 3 health, apparently. Yeah, wow. you're on 31, not wow. 24. It all depends on what you guys want to do with the woman. However, I want to see what Archer does next. So, Archer. <laughs> Earl. What's up? You're up. I was better now for a second, bro. So, what? You're up. The team outside uh. seems to have taken care of the enemies outside. However, you're still flipping over... Uh, the mattress, perhaps trying to invite her in, and shuffling the deck of cards. What do All right, you bro, do? Bro. So, so, bro, on the pretense of the fact that this would make everyone bad, and I think that's hilarious, bro. So, like, I'm gonna draw a card and, like, flip it on the table. I flip it, like, I'm like, gonna draw the card and, like, I'm gonna, like, flip it on, uh, like, on the side up, up on the ta up on the bed, right? Go ahead and roll a d20. The gotcha, number bro. really doesn't signify anything, just the card you draw. <laughs> I got a 10, bro. Okay. Just say Dogma. I dare you. Say I level up, bro. <laughs> he, di he disappears. They don't feel so good. <laughs> you should finish up your backup, Earl. Bro, I'm fucking like, I'm, I'm fine, bro. Don't worry about it. As you flip over the card, a strange knight appears within. You look at it, it looks strange and vibrant. And then you see its weapon surround you, envelop you, at least within your own mind. You then see the weapon in hand, in tow. You now have a plus three bastard sword, which is basically a great sword, but you can wield it with one hand. What the fuck? <laughs> what, the fuck? what kind of action was it to do that, bro? Tell me right now, dude. Uh, drawing from the deck is a technically action, if in combat, but you're technically not in combat right now. Bro, I'm flipping. Bro, so like, I'm flipping on, out of the bed right now, bro. So like, I'm like five feet out of the bed right now, bro. So that was like half. All right. The rest of the team can do something now. <laughs> That is cursed. I'm just saying that right now. That item <laughs> you, is cursed. You, you didn't see me do this, bro. You're busy, bro. General cursed. I, I void the sandwich. Leave me alone. A Eamon is gonna take off the helm. Guess. Alright. As you take uh, off the helmet, I'm... two of you appear out of nowhere. But then one quickly disappears. <laughs> one quickly disappears as well. <sighs> Uh, nice, so that's what you- Are you attacking? <laughs> no, bro, I was just making sure it worked, dude. Oh, okay. I wish it- No, you never did hit, though. You never see it come, <laughs> just slap it on by. Uh, there's a map for you, Mesmin. No. Hey, even has gone and walk back up to her and said, Yeah, I kinda lied to you. I am not the person that you believed on. Yes, and these are my friends. Hmm. You're either gonna tell us what is going on and where he is, or we're gonna have fun. Is it just a bit of gold? Slap. Jesus. As we're you know. trying to be professional. <laughs> As you say that, Slab's just looking at pretty jewelry and the like. Mixie's just looking at a strange deck of cards. And Esmond's just staring uh, I... around. What, what items in here look valuable? Um, the jewelry Slab is looking at the That's deck of cards for some reason. 
and there is a storage shed in the corner. I'm shuffling over, trying to make it look non-conspicuous. Yeah, exactly. yeah, right. Basically, it's like we're we're not doing anything. We're, it's, just, we're just, it's, <laughs> it's not like we're using the couch cover ourselves for some reason. Don't ask anyone. As you say that, Iman's currently uh, trying to persuade the woman. However, gets confused by Slab and Mixie trying to discover new things. However, underneath her breath, Eamon, yeah. you hear, Hmm, those were rather weak. I know this machine causes him to be weaker in his doubles, but that is rather too weak. Hmm, we will have to modify this before the actual attack. This could cause turmoil, but it won't reach the effects we need. At any rate, she then actually looks towards you, Eamon. <sighs> so you managed to defeat ten of those. Good for you. As a reward, feel free to help yourself within this area. If you don't mind, I'll be taking my leave now. Before you leave, I have one question. What is your name? I'm in a giving mood for now, so I suppose I can give you my title, but not my soldier. name. It is the Yellow King. She is the Yellow King? Uh, do I know who the Yellow King is? You know of the kings as heavily dangerous people with their own groups, with their own networks, and with their own dangerous people. The people follow them. <laughs> Wait, Ghost Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, however, the people that follow them do so by their own behests or for their own reasons. But the kings are usually powerful, polit politically wise, actually, and the like. You don't know the yellow one personally because your background wouldn't have you know them. Um... No one else in the group would know them either. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit, she just picks up a necklace like looking at it and then she hears Yellow King and she's just like j immediately drops it, <laughs> just like stumbling. Then Slab hurts the words to take whatever you want and then Slab grabs <laughs> She simply wants <sighs> out. Does anyone try to stop her? Bro, in, 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 her, in her head, I would like to say, do I mean nothing? <laughs> <laughs> do you actually do that? Yes, in her head, but in her head, bro. She turns back towards you, winks, and you go comatose. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> As we end the session for tonight, as she walks out the door, vanishing into the mist, and the strange illusionary wall that had caused you so much strife beforehand. Delete my internet browser history <laughs> as I go down. Uh. Archer's currently in need of medical attention. The rest of the team right. has no idea what to do, but do see that you are able to take anything you like within the area. So one thing is certain. Hooray! And Maybe get Archer some help as we end the session <laughs> to for tonight. Nah, Can I it's it's just a minor life? alcohol overdose. <laughs> Bro, you've never seen me eat or drink anything. You've only seen me. I mean, if you guys have time, I can tell you what's in the area, and one of the items will help Archer out. Okay. Uh, we have to help him. No, you don't have yeah. to, bro. What, but like, what do you have to do to make an unarmed strike? Strength. Strength. Hey, I, I uh, still have like my bander. Person. I'll punch him in the face with the bander if you want. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> get up! Oh, well, almost is your, uh, almost... Wow. Uh, Archer, you do not get up. Archer, get up. <laughs> you uh, somehow do worse oh, than me! Oh, god, my fucking head. Uh, Slab grabbed oh. something from one of the areas he was stealing stuff from, or taking stuff. Uh, spoiled goods, and hits you with a piece of paper, immediately waking you up, and you're fully restored, and all your spells oh. are back, and basically you got a long rest, with some added bonuses. What the fuck? What the fuck is that piece of paper? 
you look at it, it burns up, but you do read greater restoration. Uh, oh. Out of curiosity, I would have won. <laughs> Listen, bro. Wait, am I still holding the bastard sword, bro? Uh, it's currently on the ground. Nesmin slaps you awake, you think. Apparently, I'm just getting my ass beat right now, and so... Amen slaps you for good measure. You take no damage, <laughs> but you are humiliated. I feel bad. I um I take my I pick up my bastard sword and I sheath it in in something. You don't have I don't think you have a sheath though. <laughs> in something. The the sword comes with Basically, a sheath. Basically, he's put it through his waistband. Put it through. Put it in your pack. I I I avoid the bastard sword there. <laughs> you get no. a curtain and fashion a sheath. It's that simple, guys. Uh, I'm taking her pillow. Go through the items now, or do you not have time? Uh, I'm, I don't really have much. I actually wake up at around two because I had. Yeah. Uh, then I'll just post it, and you guys can uh, fight over them, I guess. Okay. Listen, we're not fighting over anything, bro. I got the one item. The question is how how expensive is the. Listen, that's a pretty ornate looking bed right here. I, I think like, we should I'm... take that. I like how you think. I am renovating everything out of this. And... Well, no, no, no. I'm not planning to sell it. Imagine the orphanage. It will look so much nicer. With... Right. And also oh, a target. No, I need the money. Yeah. We don't get paid nearly about... enough to save the world. What What about the kids, though? What about, what about my wallet, the bro? World? Who cares about the kids? We, we need to survive first, you idiot. All right. I'm I am alive. You... I'm just going to tell you the items and then the valuable items that are with monetary value. Uh, Decanter of Endless Water. That's the orphanage, dude. Another, that's the orphanage. Another deck of cards. I'll pick that. Tip. Another <laughs> I'm sorry. I rewatched the fucking Oyster Like You Wanna Have a Pokemon Find. I started giggling. <laughs> a um, I wa here. I've been watched... Uh, four gems of various colors: red, yellow, green, blue. <laughs> That's money. All ornately placed on top of metallic structures. Uh, but they can be easily pocketed or placed like on a nice desk as a weight. Mhm. Mm uh. Some eyeglasses with some strange symbols etched into them in blue filigree. Not blue filigree. Yoink. In blue lenses. And the uh, wires themselves seem to be gold. I'm not picking that. Dunk Master, by any chance a pearl laying around some? Technically, <laughs> yes. Uh, it's in the monetary value items, but I'm just going down the items you should probably... Uh, get identified. Uh. Yeah, that, that's why I'm asking if there is a pearl in there, so yeah. I can get, There's so I pearl. can start using my identify. There's a pearl there. It, it's... <laughs> I'll I'll take the pearl. And a strange if, if... red glowing sword. What's up, sword? Uh, short sword. Short sword. Okay, somebody next place could use this. If... I can. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start identifying shit now. I that I have a pearl. Okay. Um. Then I'm just gonna go back through the items. Flame tongue sword. Don't but just 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 be me those things. Yeah. Can you just write them down? Cause I'm gonna forget. No. Just, just to the... point out, I have the glasses. I'm not letting you touch them. That that is fine. Just just be me what the other things are. So I. So I can see who gets what. <laughs> All right. That, what uh, my character would do because he's not gonna tell everybody every. Fine. The vision of labor and uh, things like you that. You accidentally let one slip. One of them's the flame tongue sword. However, the rest of the items I'll PM you them later on during this time. Thank you. Probably in like ten minutes. However, yeah. the rest of the items you find in here are monetary value worth of two thousand gold. I am selling this shit. If I were a rich man, yeah, da dee 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 dee. Also, I need to ask you something, a dogma. Yes. Uh, how much? I have the king's favor, right? Or at least 
a royal family's favour. Yes. The queen. Or something. How uh, much money could I possibly get off them before it becomes ridiculous? Um, I would say less yeah. than 5,000 gold, but a good amount. <sighs> Shit. I, I was gonna fucking cheat the system. <laughs> Cut that. I mean, 5,000 gold. 5,000 gold. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm gonna go off for now. See you. Okay, <laughs> See you. Until next week, see you.